This week on Torah Tech Tips, we're going to talk about how to make your screen sharing spectacular. Hello, welcome back to Torah Tech Tips. My name is Rabbi David, and I'm here to give you some great tips for your great Torah. You know, we do a lot of screen sharing nowadays, whether it's on Zoom or if you're using a professional streaming program, we're always sharing things that we've created that's on our desktop. Well, today I want to talk with you just a little bit about how we can up that game and make our screen sharing even better by making it creative and interactive. And we're going to use for that Google Slides. Now, Google Slides is one of my favorite products. I live in the Googleverse and you could absolutely use use Keynote or PowerPoint, and they are just as powerful, if not more powerful. One of the reasons I love Google Slides, though, is that because it lives in the cloud, I can access slides that I've created from anywhere. If I'm not in my office, if I don't have my computer handy, I can hop on my phone, I can use a tablet, I can use another computer in my house, access those from anywhere, update them, get them all ready to go so that when I go live and I'm ready to share, I have the best product that I've created to be able to share. So we're going to jump in and take a look at a slideshow that I created for a class that I was teaching. So this is a class for middle schoolers. We were learning about tefillah, but you really could probably use these ideas and these slides for really any kind of class or even if you're leading a service. So let's jump in and take a look. So you can see here that I have um, Google Slides open and I'm in the edit view of this. So when you open Google Slides, which you can do by going to slides.google.com, you'll create a slide and then you'll be in the edit place. In order to see all of the animations working, you have to click on the present button, which we'll do in just a second. Before I do that, you can see down the left hand side here, I have all the different slides that I've created. I have the different elements of my slides already on the screen and I've already set up a number of different animations. So let's jump in and take a look at what this looks like when I'm actually presenting it. Now, one thing that I want to mention is that we've already talked about having dual monitors and using the page flip Firefly, which is that small foot pedal that I shared with you in an earlier episode. Having both of these, both dual monitors and the page flip Firefly makes using Google Slides or PowerPoint or Keynote even better because I can see the content on one screen and focus on the people I'm interacting with on the other screen. And the page flip Firefly allows me to move around through my slides without using my hands. I have it on the floor and I can just click right through. So let's take a look at how I've animated some of these slides. So these slides were used to teach about different patterns in prayer. And we looked at creation, revelation, redemption. We looked at blessing, Bible, and blessing. And today in this class, I was going to teach them about another pattern in prayer. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that the slides move around differently and you can set all of that up in Google Slides, different animations for how your slides move back and forth. And of course, you can also bring in lots of different elements in different ways. One of the great things about Google Slides is the way that um, Google Photo Search is integrated right into it. Let me jump back into the editing area so you can see. If I want to add a picture, I just go up to Insert, Image. Now, if I have the picture saved on my computer, great. But I can also just search the web. Let's say I want to put an image for Shabbat. I can just type Shabbat in and it'll bring up a number of images. Now, you want to be careful that you're not breaking copyright laws. So if you're putting something out there on Facebook or on YouTube, and especially if it's monetized, you want to be sure that you're using um, images that you have the rights to use. But if you're just teaching a little class, I'm not sure it's that big of a deal to borrow some images. Um, you should also try and give credit where credit is due. So if you want one of these images, let's say I want, um, oh, I don't know, let's choose these candles down here. I just click on them and then click insert. It'll immediately put the can the image right in here. I can size it. I can move it around. Now some images will have a clear background, a transparent background like this one does. Other images won't. And if that's important to you, depending on the kind of image you're trying to put in, you'll want to search for transparent. So you can put in Shabbat transparent and that'll help you find the image that you're looking for. 
let me show you something else that I found that I can do with Google Slides that's really helpful, especially for when I'm teaching prayer. So let me put this in present mode, and I'm just gonna click through this slide. And as I can do, you can see the different areas of the Hebrew get highlighted. Well, I use this when I'm practicing the tefillah with my students. So, Baruch Atah Hashem Elokeinu, Veloke Avoteinu Vimoteinu, Eloke Avraham, Eloke Yitzchak, Veloke Yaakov. You get the idea, and it goes all the way through the tefillah. The way I did this was just to put the text on the slide and then create a number of um, yellow boxes over the text, and I can split it up however I want and then I animate those different boxes. Let me show you how to do an animation. I'm gonna pull up this slide here, and I have some animations built into this slide already. So you just click on the piece that you want. Let's say I wanted to animate this right here. I actually already have an animation for it. I have it fading in. You can have it fade in, you can have it fly up. Let's change it to fly in from the bottom. I have it to do that on click, Let's play and see what happens. There you go. So you can create really creative content using Google Slides. You can also create interactive content. So one of the things that I sometimes will do is um, I'll say share this slide, which has that, that text again of the Amida, and then I will um, engage my students face to face with my camera while also following along the text. Or maybe I'll invite them to read the text that's highlighted. So using visuals is really a fantastic way to get creative and interactive with your teaching of Torah online. There's one last piece that I wanna share with you and that is, is that when you're sharing uh, your screen, anything, in a presentation or anything at all, you don't wanna to share too much text. So obviously in the example that I just showed you of the the prayer, the first bracha, the first blessing of the Amidah, I had the full text up there. But generally speaking, when you're sharing slides, you want the information to be coming from you, not from the slide. You can use the slides to show animations, to show images, to share videos, to do lots of creative content. But you want the focus to be on you and the connection that you have with the people that are learning with you. So friends, Google Slides, PowerPoint, Keynote, there are fantastic um, videos out there teaching you how to get the most of them. That's not the goal here. The goal here is to get you inspired to use some of these tips to make your Torah the best that it can be. And I think bringing creativity and engagement through the use of Google Slides is a wonderful way to do that. I'll put some links in the description below about some of my favorite tutorials for how to use Google Slides. And I hope I'll see you next time on Torah Tech Tips.